Welcome to my vlog guys, Mark Fit checking in and tonight I want to show you what I do to get ready for my training tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I'll be up at 4.30 a.m. and my training is at 5.15. So I'll, I'll show you what I do tonight to make sure that I recover properly, what time I go to sleep um, and what I do before I go to sleep to make sure that my sleep is is awesome so when I wake up at this time I can have a crazy workout as well because some people say like oh, early early training is really hard it is hard uh, but there's many things that you can do to make sure that you optimize your training and that you perform well at the gym even though it's super early in your body like sometimes when you wake up you just feel like there's a train you passed on you I'll show you what I do currently 7 56 p.m on sunday night i'm done with work at 8 p.m i told kat i'll be done with work and we'll watch a series so we are in uh, watching sense 8 i'll be watching one episode and i'm going to sleep tip number one is pretty obvious just go to sleep early there's a lot of you guys just try to wake up super early but you go to sleep too late so for me i try to always have kind of like a seven hour window so if i'm getting up at 4 30 I will go to sleep around 9, 9.30. That's pretty much my, pretty much my range. So um, tonight I'm going to sleep at, at 9.30. Right now it is currently 8 p.m. It's currently 8 p.m. I told Kat we'll watch a series. So I'll be watching the series now and then I will just go to Dreamland. There's also something else that I've learned like in, I think in a lot of studies and also like in some podcasts and they tell that the most rejuvenating time to go to sleep is at it's between 11 and 2 p uh, 2 a.m. So if you're asleep between those hours, you will recover faster. So uh, if you got 11:30, you're just you just lost like a 30 minute window. That could have been like super good for you. I know sometimes like we just want to grind, want to work, but we gotta take in consideration that sometime doing too many work in one day will not be good because you won't be able to be consistent for a certain number of days. So it's better to how can I say that? It's better to extend our work but make sure that we get it done and we get even more done because the next day we feel fresh we feel productive and we're not too tired and we are not productive that day i would i would prefer to exchange and just work seven hours a day that are super productive and i'm killing it than working for 24 hours straight and then just be tired the next day and then do another 24 hours and then be tired for two days because if you're doing something that you can sustain then it's always better because you will get more done over the period of time that you set yourself to achieve this goal tip number two minimize the exposure to blue light so i've done a video about all my tips to sleep better um those were kind of inside of it but i'm making it a little bit different those glasses are, are blocking the blue light from my screen so one of the things that i use as well for my phone is like it's just the the night shift so my my screen just getting like kind of a range so i minimize the blue light exposure to my eyes, I sleep better, less stress to my body. What are blue lights? There's some in the sun. It just helps you to balance yourself to get up and go to sleep. So at night you produce melatonin and go to sleep and ease out to go to sleep. So if you're exposed to blue light, what happens? Like if it's the night outside, your body still think it's the day. So it doesn't want to go to sleep, take this stress and give you energy. So you try to minimize this exposure. That's what I will do right now. Another thing that I try to do is shut down the lights at night. When the sun goes goes down, then I try to minimize any lights open in my house. If I don't know if you see, but there's pucks everywhere. Over there, there's light there. This, this, this. All of those. I have so many. I can disturb your sleep. Something else that I try to, that we, we do quite often, is just to take a tisane, so it's 
pretty something that calms you down before going to sleep and heals you, heals you down. I'll take my magnesium as well. And if my circadian rhythm is kind of like out, out of balance and I just came back from, from a trip that I was like in a different time zone or something like that, I also take melatonin to uh, help out with my melatonin production at night to make sure that I go to sleep and that I have a nice night and I can just get back. Where are your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's wearing some as well. The petit lunette. You see like the blue reflection? We see it? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. You look natural. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be watching Sense8. I will wait myself before I'm going to sleep and I will wait myself when I wake up just to show you the fluctuation in weight and how much water that I lose um, during the night. And then I will document my entire training, how I feel, because maybe you see, like you see my video like uh, why I wake up at 5 a.m. and I, and then after that why I wake up at 5 a.m. and I look always like super driven and it's easy for me, but it's it's not easy for me to wake up at 4:30 or 5 a.m. Uh, Sometimes I'm just like oh my god, there's a train to just pass on me, but. Um, the mindset will always, if your mindset is stronger than your body, then then you will be able to succeed. And there's, um, I've listened to a podcast recently or maybe a book, I don't recall. No, I think it was a book. Um, I think it's Own the Day by uh, Aubrey Marcus. I'm not sure if it's in this book, but I think so. And in the book, he, he mentioned a study that talking about people who run uh, Ironman. And what they say in it is that your body will send you signal when you are, um, you know when when it start to be hard and want to make sure that you don't push yourself too much around 50, 40 or 60% I'm not sure the entire percentage but it will send you a signal to your brain like oh, you sh your brain will just tell you you should stop you should stop because you, you need to maintain you need to survive but you have like a, a long you, you, you still have like a long a lot of energy to keep pursuing and uh, keep pushing the boundaries so um, I don't say to overturn yourself but I'm telling you that you're you will want to give up and your mind will tell you things that ah oh, stop it's enough you know you've done enough but most of the time you can still push the boundaries and it's, this is how you evolve you need, you need to um to push the boundaries to become better can i say something yeah. so if you liked this video you can go and click the link underneath there is a video called 11 acts to sleep better like for a better sleep and that's our routine that we did tonight so i guess uh well, actually, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can give a thumbs up to Mark's videos. You can also follow my channel. And you can also uh, check out Rocco's Instagram. Because he's like the best puppy in the world. And also, um, I love you guys. Okay. Good night. Thanks. So I was about to go to sleep, but I feel kind of hungry. I was about to go to sleep, and I feel kind of hungry. So I'll make myself... One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. Um, and I know it's not the best way to cook them, but I like I like that. I, I just like eating that. And also, what is good? Um, yes, I I do eat the yolk of the eggs. Uh, today I didn't eat any eggs. Or maybe I yeah I ate one egg with uh, it was um, avocado toast with one egg on top of it. But I try to have two to three full eggs every day because it's good f to produce choline it's the energy that your 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 brain use and you just function better uh faster less brain fog what what it's been literally a minute that i'm up it is five and um yeah doing my weight in then getting a little thing to eat, then going to the gym and 5.30 to work out, start. 171.2, so I've lost, so I've lost 2.2 pounds during my sleep. So it is pretty much just water. So I'll show you what I do to hydrate myself because it's been six and a half, seven hours. I didn't drink any water. And a lot of you guys, the, you just wake up, get your coffee, and it's not the right thing to do. It's better to hydrate yourself. I'll show you the minerals that I take and what I do as a morning drink. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you what I do if I have 40 minutes to get to the gym. If I have an hour 30 before going to the gym, I'll have a proper meal. Uh, but if not, I want my body to digest it as fast as possible. So here we go.
So that's pretty much the morning drink. So some fresh water, some Himalayan pink salt, um, lemon and apple cider vinegar. That's it. So just that, about 500 millimeters of, uh, of it. And then I'm good to go. Just finished my last set of squat. It's currently 5.49 a.m. So we'll finish up with uh, the bar is 55 pounds apparently. It's like a heavy bar, so it's 10, 10 pounds heavier than a regular bar. You just told me, I didn't know. Two plates and 10 pounds for my last set. And every set we were increasing, so we started with uh, one plate, so 135. And then add up a 25 straight up for the second set. And then add up a 10 pounds, then another 10 pounds. And that was the failure set. I did four reps, actually like three reps, and then one more, then it was enough for my fifth set. We take two minute rest between each set and now we'll move on to the next exercise. for the workout uh, so we've done front squat we've done elevated back foot lunges and I like this machine because um, your foot cannot help yourself like your back foot cannot like help you push or do anything or stabilize yourself because that that thing just pivot you know in all sense so it's pretty good for that enjoy it and then we went on the leg extension three sets of 10 reps then uh, line leg curl and now we're finishing up the workout with 25 reps of leg press, two sets, and that's it. Now we'll do some ab abdominals. What time is it? Yeah, it's pretty much uh, time to go, but we'll do a five to seven minute circuit. And we are going to eat breakfast, then office, and the day is starting. Let's go. So we're back at the Fit Casa. Right now we'll do a post-workout shake. So it's gonna be 47 to 50 grams of protein with some dextrose in it, glutamine, creatine. And then after that, I'll have my first meal of the day, which will be my breakfast. Will be avocado toast, avocado toast, avocado toast. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what I did to get to the gym on time and because I didn't have time to prepare food so that I have a mixer, so it's a Nutribullet and I, I blended 60 gram of oats, mix it with one scoop of protein. So it gave me about 40 gram of protein with the oats and uh, just mix all that in the water, drink that. And what happens is like you will be able to digest it faster and use those nutrients during your workout. So a lot of people are not able to do empty stomach workout. Sometimes I'll do empty stomach workout, uh, but for me, I need to be in the gym like during an hour maximum and need to be right away when I wake up if I'm doing empty stomach. Some caffeine will help to suppress my hunger, but usually when I wake up, I can eat, you know, I'm, I'm hungry. So that's my tip to get a good workout is you blend oats with a scoop of protein, drink that, your body won't have to break it down, it will be already broken down for you. Like I would say like at 70%, 80% compared to usual and you're good to go. Another thing that I do during my training is that I utilize BCAs. Uh, for me, I just feel right away the effect on BCAs on my endurance strength and I just feel like I'm just more complete and uh, overall just endurance. So BCAs is a must, it's a must for me even when I was doing like swimming classes at school and when I was doing running, I always utilize BCAs. So this is the BCAs that I take during my training. So Xtend, it's a classic BCA. I just feel like everyone heard about Xtend. So if you don't know about Xtend, they're pretty good. They also help you to be uh, hydrated. So there's electrolyte inside of them. So this is the nutrition fact. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, so it's pretty dope, pretty complete. And that's what I take. And this morning I didn't take any pre-workout, but for some of you it can be good. Most of the time I will take a pre-workout before getting to the gym, but I had a good, um, a good night. I was feeling pretty good, so I didn't, Feel like I needed like extra push, but for sure I will drink uh, C4 carbonated during the day as my energy drink. Um, but yeah, I didn't need it for my workout this morning. It was pretty intense, pretty heavy. The guy that I work out with, like my new gym partner, will get to the gym at 5.15 every morning. By 5.30 the workout has begun. 
Um, we take a 15 minutes of like rest, getting to the gym, getting ready and putting our stuff together. Uh, most of the time we'll have like Matthew come to record me, so all the setup of camera. So 5.15 at the gym, we're out by 6.30, 6.45, coming home, getting a shower, about 10 minutes, then eating. Let's say you take like 30 minutes, 45 minutes at home and then going to the office. So by 7.30, 7.45 max, I'm at the office. Dreaming. 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 Drea